This is a digital thermostat temperature control switch I purchased off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description or you can look at my Amazon affiliate page and uh, find a link there. You can either buy it on your own or if you want to buy it through my link then that'll supposedly give me a little bit of a return but uh, I haven't seen anything yet off of that. Anyhow it's uh mine cost nine dollars it got i got it with free shipping because i ordered some other items you can get them i guess on ebay for about six bucks and i don't know if that includes free shipping or not but anyway i'm going to uh, set this up on that refrigerator box that i'm building for the back of my van to house my refrigerator and this is going to control the fans that I installed in the box to keep the temperature down. So I just have it set up on the bench here in uh, a display type setup just to show you how it works. And it comes with this acrylic box which I may mount it inside of of this box. Kind of, I mean it's okay. It's You gotta glue it together and it's kind of a pain but we'll see how it works out. Anyhow the way I've got this set up right now is with just a small LiPo battery and this happens to be four cell battery so it's putting out over 14 volts and it's running okay. It says it runs off of 12 so if you look at these two there's a four position plug-ins here. The right hand one is ground so I have my fan and my battery ground connected to that that one. The next one is the 12 volt power in, so the power is coming out of my battery, 12 volts, or in this case 14, and that's going to the power to power the unit. Then I have an orange wire, it's just a loop and it's just a jumper, it's taking the power from the second pin, which is the 12 volt in, over to the first side of the relay, which in this case my fan is 12 volts also. So. That's the power in and then when the relay clicks on based on temperature it lets power travel through this wire which is the KO. This is K1 and KO and that will allow the power to run back to the fan and operate the fan. So the thing about it is is it's uh, it's only in Celsius so you if you're like me in the US and you just get on the internet and do some conversions Right now it's currently showing about 70, 72, 75 degrees. Show, displays the temperature in the room based on this this uh, sensor for the temperature. The end of that is a sensor. And you can put it, uh, it's about a foot long cable that it comes with. Put it wherever you want. But right now it's showing it's 23.7 degrees Celsius and that's roughly about 72, 75 degrees room temperature. I've got it currently set to turn the fan on at uh, 80 degrees, which is 26.6 Celsius. So I'm just going to demonstrate this to you, see if I can hold this fan with one hand here. And then I'm going to hold the uh, temperature sensor. And then as that increases on the temperature there, if I get it up to 26.6, this fan should come on. And uh, theoretically start cooling down the box. All right, there we go. So the fan is now on. You have a red light indicating that it's actually sending power now to the, to the item that you're trying to power. Then I'm gonna put the fan in front of the sensor and you'll see it'll start to cool uh, cool back down and when it gets back down to 26.6 it shuts off and the fan stops so it actually seems to be pretty pretty accurate let's do it again just for fun and you can put different settings in there some people use these for uh, chicken incubators or egg incubators. 
and you can set it to where it works opposite this. If it gets too cool, it'll turn on a heater. In some cases in those incubators, they use light bulbs for the temperature, for the heat source. And then once it gets uh, up to a certain temperature, it'll shut off. But this is what I'm going to install in the van there. If you uh, look at the link and you want to use one of these, for instance, actually I'm not putting it in the van, I'm putting it in the, uh, in the refrigerator box that's going on the back of the van. But uh, this would be great for a, like a fantastic fan if you got one that doesn't have a thermostat on it. The ones that do probably have a, almost this identical item inside. Then they give you three buttons here for adjusting temperatures up and down. I'm not going to go through all of the different settings, but if you push this one one time, it'll show you what you have it set at. And it's probably hard to read on the uh, camera, but 26.6. Then you can go up and down with the temperature. And then you just wait a few seconds and it'll go back to showing you the room temperature. Anyway, pretty cool little device. Comes with that little... Uh, case and I'm going to mount it in there and then we'll go from there and connect both of my fans to this so that when it gets to a certain temperature whatever I set it at inside the box the thermostat will kick kick on the fans and cool it back down and then shut off and that way I can just set a specific temperature and I don't have to worry about always coming out there to turn a switch on or turn a switch off or uh, just let the fans run continuously when it's really not necessary. Say, for instance, at nighttime when it cools down, there's no reason for those cooling fans to be running and it's just burning up battery power and uh, wear and tear on the fans. So I'm going to connect it to this, and then that way once it drops down in the evening and the sun goes down and it cools down, then my fans won't come on until in the morning or later in the early afternoon when the when the temperature in the box gets up to a certain degree to whatever I have it set for. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.